imagine a world where at the start of every semester college students could just put in their recommendations how how they want their timetable to look like and it would just exactly match to their preferences back in the day when i was studying i would just get a list of subjects that i was taking in that semester and ex the exact time slots that i was taking them in if i had to judge I, any one of them i had to go through a very rigorous process of chasing a human being telling them why my reason was really valid and then they'd really accommodate me in that class. Today, we're going to just dive into how we can build a timetable scheduler using Generative AI, which can cater to people's demands uh, using just textual data from, for their recommendations. So let's just dive right in. All right, so we have two data sets uh, in simple CSV files. Uh, the first one is the subjects data. So you can see this on the screen. Uh, we have five subjects and we have five available classes for these subjects. Now, for every sparse subject, we have the requisite number of classes per week, three for mathematics, three for science. And then we have, we have another small data set for students in which we have the student's name, the subjects they, they, they have to take in this semester, and their consideration. So for example, for John Doe, John Doe wants to avoid classes on Mondays and Fridays, and uh, Jane Smith wants to, only prefers sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So something like this is really hard uh, when doing at scale, like if you if you have to get a human to do this, it is super time consuming and uh, it's super hard to accommodate everybody. But for an LLM, this is really not very difficult. Uh, I mean, for GBD 3.5 it is, but when we tried it with GBD 4, it was a breeze. So what we're going to do in this timetable scheduler is we're going to pour feed this data into a prompt. And that prompt is going to use Langchain to communicate with GBD 4 APIs. And uh, once we get the data back from the GBD4 APIs, it should spit out a very perfect calendar that really uh, suits my preferences as well. And let's just dive into the code of uh, and see how all of this is happening. So here is our notebook in which we have the time uh, table scheduler for campus classes uh, is simply using Langchain, GBD4 API, and some Python code. In the first cell, we're simply just loading the OpenAI API key, and then we have a simple CSV reader in uh, cell number three, we are simply reading the data from the subjects and the students. Uh, moving on in the next cell, we are just using a chat open AI model from Langchain. The temperature is set to zero because uh, if, if we increase the temperature, it, it is going to act a little more creative. And that is what we don't want. We want the output to be very deterministic and we want it to be the same for the same set of inputs every time we give it in, uh, like a, a use case or an input. And now to the prompt where actually all of the magic happens. So firstly, we have to give it a role. I mean, like, like all good props, you have to give it a role that you're an expert university class scheduler with proficiency in interpreting JSON. So since we're get, giving it the information in JSON, um, you have to really tell the model that it should be ready to interpret JSON. And th this is how it knows how to filter and how to interpret JSON data. These are the following subjects. We give it a subject's data uh, in JSON, and then we give it a specific student, uh, like the student JSON. Uh, so in the context, we have both of the data frames, so to say, in the JSON format. We give it some more instructions about the number of classes per week, and, the, and that each subject must be the same as mentioned in the data. You must make sure that the classes don't overlap. If there is a conflict between the student's consideration and the scheduling, ignore the consideration. So we have to tell it to prioritize the scheduling, like we have to, we have to tell the LLM to prioritize the number of classes per week more than uh, the consideration. So that 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 is very important as well. And then after that, we're telling it to just include a brief comment at the end, which tells uh, us if the student has been accommodated fully, partially, or not at all. So this is basically the prompt, and then we tell it that uh, we need the output to be in this specific format, and and let's just see what the LLM outputs. We put it into a simple chat prompt, and then we use a simple LLM chain using Langchain. We give it the chat model, the GPT-4 model that we've used. And for every student, we just run this chain. When you run this chain, the interesting, and here's the interesting part, right? So when you run this chain, you get John Doe's classes over here. And this is basically the output for John Doe. Oh, there's a Monday class, there's a couple of Monday classes, a couple of Wednesday classes, and a Friday class as well. So yeah. Well, it is hallucinating a little bit here, but uh, I mean, it has given uh, given us these two results. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's close. So the, and let's see what the comment here is. The student's consideration to avoid class on Monday, Friday has been partially met for the subject history. One class had to be scheduled on Monday due to limited availability of class slots. For science, one class had to be scheduled on Friday due to limited availability. 
So, right. So once you get these comments, it is super easy for us to then uh, make these more human friendly and just send them as an email update uh, to students. Uh, and the same is happening for Jane Smith and the same is happening for Michael Johnson as well. If you want to take a look at how this works, you can just check out the, uh, the GitHub repo and uh, check out the 003 timetable scheduler folder and you'll be able to play with this for sure. We can only imagine the kind of reasoning power these models are going to have roughly a couple of years from now, right? So this is in the very nascent stages right now and it can reason stuff like this. Like it, it can literally match people according to their preferences to their classes, uh, keeping in mind their time tables, table schedules and their preferences. And if you were to iterate on this, like think of it in this way, like if I if, if the LLM were to send John Doe a message, like this is how I schedule your classes, are you happy with these? Then they could literally iterate with the LLM and tell the LLM about how they would change it in simple text and then at the end converge on a set of classes that really work for them. If you have any feedback on uh, the Langchain series, you can just reach out to me on Twitter as well. Uh, feel free to just check out the code uh, basis for all of these episodes on GitHub, and I'll see you in the next one.